here are the things that I've really enjoyed this September and that I think are worth checking out. So this favorite is a drink. This is the Schweppes Cranberry Raspberry Ginger Ale. Not to be confused with a ginger ale that just has cranberry. This is very different. Let me emphasize this because last year they released this and it was amazing. And then we realized, oh, it's limited edition. And so we kept trying to find it and find it and we couldn't. Schweppes, I would say if you happen to watch this, please make this all year round. I know that cranberry is supposed to be just seasonal for like Thanksgiving, but this is amazing. This is so good. This is sweet. This is delicious. This is like my favorite beverage to the point that now that they have it out this year, we have five freaking cases. We have five cases of this in our apartment right now and I wanna buy more. It's amazing. That's all I can say about that. Another favorite is, of course, it's fall. What comes out at every store? Pumpkin spice latte. Now, to be honest, I haven't tried all the different ones. McDonald's now has one, which I re really wanna try, but standard, classic, Starbucks, pumpkin spice latte. I've been drinking about two of these a week and I love them, they're delicious. I get the normal recipe, don't get them to make it skinny, don't get them to take anything out, and it's amazing. And they had these sort of limited edition um, colored cups, so I happened to get this teal one. So, amazing, and pumpkin spice lattes, are kind of overdone, but you know what? They're delicious. That's just how it is. More in the food realm. Uh, we were in the Lindor, the Lint store, and they have seasonal lint balls. So they have ones with ghosts, and they have little jack-o'-lantern pumpkins. Um, these are both actually just milk chocolate, but they're still good. They did have a pumpkin spice uh, lint ball that I tried. I wasn't the biggest fan, but I think these are just really cute and festive for fall. Check them out. So another one of my favorites is this giant cat face, which actually is a pencil case. Pretty sort of blue material inside. And I was really attracted to this because I just thought, how cute is this? How could you not? Um, it was sold at like a paper store, but I think I've also seen it in maybe Carlton cards. Um, it is called the Perfect Pouch. And I think this is just a really cute way to carry your pencils, pens, or just collect them if you're trying to organize your house better. I just think it is so cute. And it's furry, and it has cat ears, and the zip is a pom-pom. I really love this. So my last favorite, podcasts. So there's two podcasts that I've started listening to. One is The Heart of It with Estee Lalonde. And she has two episodes out thus far. Uh, the first one was about protests and that came out maybe a month or so ago. And then this is the first episode in the season and it's about tattoos. And it's really interesting if you know Estee Lalonde from her YouTube channel, um, it's great. You can. Listen to her in the car now, on your commutes, and uh, she's dealing with some interesting subjects. So it's interesting to have somebody's take on some of these. And then another podcast that I'm definitely loving that I found through Estee being on their podcast is Jules and Sarah the Podcast. I will say this is the funniest podcast I've heard in a long while. I just finished listening to Life Hacks episode in my car on the way home and I was laughing out loud while stuck in traffic. So you know what? Good for them. Check them out and check out Estes. As well, I guess I could do a whole episode on podcasts I love, a piece of work. And I started listening to this maybe about a month or two ago and this is by Abby Jacobson. So she is one of the co-creators, co-stars of um, Broad City. Um, her podcast is amazing. She has a fine arts background. And so in this, she's actually going and talking to people about different pieces of art, um, mostly that are at MoMA, because it's a co-production with them, the Museum of Modern Art in New York City. Uh, I've been to that museum. I love it. I wish I had more time to be there. But if you're kind of interested in art or interested in learning about just interesting things with art, uh, I really recommend this. And again, it sort of has that humor side to it. So 
loving the podcast this September. So that's it. I just have a few things that I've really been digging right now. Um, if you like these videos, please give it a thumbs up. If there's anything that you've been digging this September, any podcast, beverages, candy, fun, random things, let me know down below. I am always happy to find new things. And as always, thanks for watching. Bye.